if that makes sense. But Wade, are you done now? Are you good? All right. He just really wants to be involved. Halloween is right around the corner and I am always coming up with really fun Halloween costumes. I just did Princess Mia from Princess Diaries. I just did the Donut Cops, Winchell, and Duncan with my little sister. So I am working with Goodwill to bring you guys what's hopefully an easy and cheap DIY costume to be Vanellope Von Schweetz. I'm a huge Wreck-It Ralph fan and I think Vanellope is a really fun costume to do for Halloween for like a million reasons. She's a really fun character. Her costume is really comfortable. You're gonna be in like leggings and a hoodie. It's easy to pull off Vanellope without having to do a wig because she has like a high ponytail and shoes. She just really kind of has as normal solid black shoes so you're not having to like find a pair of potentially expensive shoes. I'm not 100% sure how this is all going to come together just yet. I like to thrift especially at Goodwill so I can tell you that it for one will be affordable. I don't like to sink a lot of money into Halloween costumes and I can tell you that it will be no sew because I can't sew. Wish me luck and let's head out to Goodwill. I hope I can find it all in one location but I got a few different spots to check out found the perfect Vanellope skirt because I could dye it brown but it's perfect it has like all the pleats hopefully it fits me I got very lucky with this tennis skirt but I was really worried about trying to find a pleated skirt we did it at our next Goodwill and if you didn't know every Halloween Goodwill has this like build a scare campaign and they pull a lot of pieces that are really good for a lot of different Halloween costumes on the one area. On the hunt for a blue hoodie now, or a white hoodie and dye it. Not really the right color this is though. <gasps> this is the perfect color, what the heck? This is also a pretty good option, but it doesn't have a pocket here. And one of Vanellope's like signature things are these like pink strings across the hoodie pocket, which I can definitely do here but it's not really gonna work out on one like this. It's a little small. Don't think uh, that's really gonna work because Vanellope's hoodie is quite big. I think the fit of this one is much better and I still have the pocket so I can still do the laces here and here and this one has strings which on Vanellope's hoodie are like hot pink. So I'll be able to do the same paint on this that I'm gonna do for down here and I think it'll be perfect. managed to find these white, a little off-white leggings. Vanellope has these fun, like really striped leggings, but there's no way that would be able to find striped leggings in the colors that I need. So I think I'm just gonna get these and paint these, which would be a fun DIY project. Back at home from both Goodwill and the craft store, and I got my dye for my skirt, I couldn't find another brown skirt that would work and dyeing is really easy. I know there have been this before on my channel, but I cannot stress enough at how easy it is to actually dye things. I have washed the pieces that I'm gonna dye, so I have my pleated skirt here. And honestly, like, you can still pull off Vanellope even if you just find a brown skirt. You don't have to go as far to like find a pleated one and dye it to make sure it's the right color, but I like to do mine as accurately as I can. I'm gonna be following the instructions. It's on the dye bottle, nothing crazy. This is for synthetic um, because this skirt is 100% polyester because it's a legit tennis skirt. My skirt is rinsed. I'm going to use this powder dye in teal for this hoodie. I'm obviously not trying to do a drastic color change. I just wanna get a little bit of green in there. It's been about 20 minutes in here and it definitely looks like it's got a lot more green in that teal because the inside of this is a polyester which isn't gonna dye as easily as the cotton. So you can kind of see the color we started with first is the color we're looking at now. My hoodie is dyed and dried and turned out great. Vanellope's hoodie has hot pink strings coming out of the hood and these kind of like, I'm assuming they're licorice. I don't really know, but she's got these really hot pink kind of details, like stitches. So instead of getting like um, a really thick embroidery floss and physically sewing those on, I'm gonna pretty much get the same effect with a 3D puff paint. Brushing this on uh, is a failed experiment. It definitely makes it a little too 
thin and transparent so it looks purple. I'm just gonna have to layer this up and it'll be still poofy up here, but it's kinda nice, it'll make the strings a little bit thicker because they're pretty pronounced on Vanellope's hoodie. It just means that this process is gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. Day two, my skirt is completely dry and dyed. Super happy with how this turned out. I did have to do a second dye bath. The skirt is now done. Super easy. These straps didn't turn out like as smooth as I wanted. So what I did instead was actually add another layer of the puff paint and then took a brush. So it kind of looks like licorice. Getting ready to work on my leggings and pulled up another high res image of Vanellope. And this happy accident is actually more accurate than what I was planning to do anyway. There is texture on her straps as well as the stitching here. And I think it is supposed to be candy. We're gonna move on to the leggings. Vanellope has very specific leggings and the legs are two different patterns. I feel like I know a way to like make this easier and it is by using fabric spray paint. This one is by the brand Tulip in the color teal. I hope that it's the same color teal as the hoodie dye. Kind of use it like spray paint and you just like ch -ch -ch. So to get the stripes, we're just gonna use masking tape. Like if we were painting anything, I've got my leggings all taped up. I've got my cardboard down. I'm gonna get spraying. Can't wait to get all this off. And then I've gotta go through and put a purple stripe in the middle of all of these stripes. Pretty happy with these. Hey, we did it. We did two legged leggings. Now I've gotta paint the purple stripes inside of the white here. I thought about freehanding it, but then decided that was a little too risky. For the stripe, I'm actually gonna be using airbrush paint. Fun fact, I used to do some airbrush work back in the day. So this is actually made for fabrics. You can use any type of fabric paint. Honestly, you could use acrylic paint and it's gonna stay just as well too. Ooh, look at that. That looks so good <laughs> for eyeballing and just kind of guessing the proportions. I think I did a pretty good job. I have just a few things left on my costume, one being the candy that Vanellope has all in her hair. And we're keeping this super DIY without buying any extra material, so I'm just using bobby pins and some buttons that I had left over. I'm only gonna make eight of them, but I want them to be like really contrasty. I've got all of my buttons glued to the ends of my bobby pins. I'm gonna let those dry. And I used a super glue that's a gel, so it's not as runny. When you're doing something like this and you're working with a lot of little pieces, a gel is really gonna help you keep it cleaner. <sighs> the final piece that I have left to do is Vanellope's licorice hair tie. What I'm going to attempt to do is use this weather stripping. I just had this kind of left over my house, but you can get it from any kind of hardware store. And it's like foamy, it's squishy, really lightweight. The thing with Vanellope's hair tie is that it stands straight up. So I'm gonna try to use the weather stripping with this hair tie that I already had. It's got wire in it so you can bend it. You could use like a wire coat hanger and just use wire from that. But this is nice because it's really kind of thin and really flexible if it'll go through here and be able to hold its shape. And obviously it's not gonna be brown. I'm gonna to attempt to spray paint it and hope that the foam doesn't melt away. And this is like two pieces. They are connected right here in the middle, but they kind of just pull apart really easily. And this is an adhesive. I think I might stick it together like that and then we'll get like a big thick kind of round piece. And then I'm hoping I can like twist it. I don't know, we're gonna see. I might have to run this wire through both sides. Now that I have wire on both sides, it should let me twist it. Ooh, yes! That's like exactly what I wanted. This is great. This is better than honestly I thought that it would look like. If that doesn't look like candy, man, I am super stoked with how this turned out. And it doesn't seem like the spray paint is eating into this foam at all. It's got pretty decent coverage, so. 
My spray paint is drying, so I'm gonna do my hair and makeup. Vanellope is really easy to do. She doesn't have like a specific makeup look. So literally all that I'm gonna do is take like a very pink blush and I'm gonna make my cheeks super pink and then my nose. It's kind of the only signature thing Vanellope has. I don't know why her nose is so pink. There it is, Vanellope. I look like a clown. Oh man. Vanellope also has giant eyes, so to get like a bigger eye effect, this is a pretty classic makeup tip, is to take a white eyeliner and do your waterline with white. It'll give the appearance that your eyes are bigger because it brings more light into your eyes. I'm going to just mascara the ton out of my lower lashes. There we go. Pretty easy, pretty simple. You don't need to buy a lot of new things. Um, just a little extra mascara, white liner, and some blush. And you're like pretty much good to go for vanilla. I don't think you necessarily have to use a wig to be vanilla for Halloween because most of your hair is up off your face. I wasn't planning on it, but I went ahead and bought this stuff. This is a temporary color. I've used this before for my Princess Diaries Mia because I had like a bun and it was easy to spray. But I'm just going to use some of this to get my hair a little bit black. I used the entire can. There's a link to that stuff down below. And I've got pretty good coverage. There's definitely some purple kind of on the inside of the ponytail, but I really focused more on the outside and underneath that everyone is going to see more. But I'm pretty like happy with it. I've never seen myself with hair so dark. Uh, let me know if you like it. It's very different for me. And now my bobby pins with my candy buttons. Look at me, I'm Vanellope with my button candies. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to go get my licorice tie. Hang on. Hope it works. It's still a little tacky. <laughs> uh, from the paint not being like 100, 100% dry. It's a little tall. I wonder if I can like twist it. I know, I'm like, I wanted it to stick really far up and I'm like, it's too tall. It totally works. If you like really look at it up close, you'll be like, what is that? But I mean, it's kind of the same thing with the buttons. You know, you're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, there's candy. I'm going to get dressed now and see how all of it has come together in just a few days. And here's the completed costume. I decided to go with a pair of black boots that I already had in my closet so I didn't have to spend any more extra money there. But overall, I am really happy with how everything came together. I didn't find it to be overly complicated and I think I did a pretty good Vanellope. I hope you guys liked my DIY Vanellope costume. If so, give this video a thumbs up. I think it's really fun to DIY your own costumes because it gets you creative, it keeps your costume different than what everybody is buying straight off the shelf, and it's fun to thrift for your costume. It's good for the environment, you're reducing and you're reusing and you're recycling. But let me know below what you guys are gonna be for Halloween this year, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!